Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are working on the John Deere 7200 conservation planner that we have, our 12 row planner that we just bought a few weeks ago. Yeah, a few weeks ago. Um, we are going through and taking all of the row units off. Well, not the row units, units, the whole thing. We are taking the meters off to go in and get calibrated and make sure they are doing what they're supposed to be doing. So the, these are pretty simple to take off. You can see the boxes have these hooks. They have a clip on this side and you just unclip them like that. Clip right there, you just unclip it. The box folds forwards, pulls out, and then you have these units. And we unhook the vacuum hose, which just pops off like so. And then these boxes, by the way, are like half the weight of the old fiberglass boxes. They are awesome. Flip it over. And we have a bolt here, or a nut here, and a nut here. These are studs coming out of the bottom of the box. They do not come off. So you just take the nuts off, and these units will come off. So now I have the nuts off, and the unit should just pull off like so. So there is the unit. This is what has your seed disc in it, and is what is regulating how much seed goes in the ground. So yeah, you can see inside here. Your seed disc would be right here, which right now it's not in it because the previous owner took them out before he put the planer away. And you got some odds and ends in here that help you out, so yeah. We only have 11 more to go. This is an ESET meter. Um, well, did I say that? This is the meter that's on the corn planter. These specific ones are made by Precision Planting Industries, I think. Yeah, there's industries at the end, I believe. These are called ESET meters, and not exactly sure why, that's just what they named them, I guess. Um, these are all chain driven off of the wheels. So the wheels on the planter turn. They turn chains, which then come up and turn these. That's how these ones run. We look into V-set meters, which are electric meters. They are not gear driven. They have an electric motor right here instead of having this that hooks up to the sprocket. And so then in the tractor, every single meter can be turned off on its own. And so you can turn off each individual row as you need to. And so as for an example, if you are finishing up a field, you're coming up to the headlands, we don't specifically measure our fields so that we have no overlap on the ends. There are tons of overlap. Sometimes you'll have two rows that are where they're supposed to be and you have four rows planting into rows that have already been planted. And uh, with this planter, it'll be the same way. You can turn off half of the planter at a time. Each side is driven. Uh, independently so we can turn off the right side of the planter or the left side and at the most you would have four or five rows overlapping at once it is still it's not good it, it it will cost you money in the long run because you will have more plants in one area and it will cause a competition between the plants and you will have instead of having just really good plants the right number you're supposed to you'll have a lot of plants, but they'll be so malnourished and uh, need so much more water than the other ones will that even those two sets of plants together won't add up to what one good set uh, would have produced. So these, the V-set meters, which we were looking at getting, were really expensive for a planer like this. Um, off the top of my head, I believe it was about $15,000 to get the V-set meters on here. Because, and that's 
that's not including the fact that we would have to replace our seed boxes, which are even more money. And yeah, so we are sticking with the ESAP meters for a few more years, and eventually we will upgrade because it does pay for itself. The VSAT meters will pay for their pay for themselves in three to five years, which is really worth it. Worth it. We just don't have the money for that initial investment up front. We are getting some stuff for this planner. It's coming about the end of March, so there will be videos on that. Don't worry, guys. I am not going to leave you guys in the dark on this planner. I want you guys to see everything we put on this planner and if it actually does make money like it's supposed to and if it performs like it's supposed to. I'm not going to tell you guys what this stuff is yet. You guys will have to find out. But this planner is going to be semi kitted out it's not going to be like a stream eventually we will be probably making this into a more no-till planner because we are doing beans with this planner as well so hopefully we'll be getting some getter row cleaners eventually but uh we're going basic right now because this year we have to we bought this obviously we got to kit it out we have to buy a combine because ours is getting old and needs to be replaced and uh we also are having to invest quite a bit of money in our grain bin set up so we have a lot of money going out and hopefully all of the money going out is gonna make us more money coming in in the fall so I hope you guys um, understand how these work uh, I'll be going more in depth on this and the planner at a later date when we have it in the shop and when we are putting all that stuff on so we have 12 of these meters that we got to take to precision and have them calibrate them and make sure all the parts are in working order and then we will have them back hopefully by the end of March and we will have our cool new toys for this planner and we will be able to put them on and I will show you guys them and then we'll be able to see it in the field so thank you guys for watching please hit the thumbs up button I'm not supposed to say that in my videos because I made a promise but I just said it anyway so now that I did it and broke my rule, will you please go down there and do it extra times? And thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.